All right. Uh, for the list, I chose some, you know, kids are going back to school, yeah. and it was just, it was funny, I was talking to Eric Rung the other day, who has a baby, I think about 18 months old, he was talking about how baby doesn't sleep, and I'm like, boy, you know, I think I've, my kids are older now, I think I've got some nuggets yeah. mm, that I can pass along, so there's a lot of guilt involved with parenting over yeah. the years, oh, but I'm going to tell you, yeah. I, I don't know everything, obviously, but I've learned a few things that yeah. worked for me, so I'm Good. just going to pass them along, All you right. do with it what you want. First one, babies sleeping through the night. Okay? Yeah. My first baby, I couldn't get her to sleep. I'm like, she doesn't like to nap. The friend of mine sent me this book by a doctor in Chicago. It's old. Oh, it's yeah. gotta be 30 yeah. years old. Yeah. Healthy Sleep Habits, yeah. Happy Child by Mark Weisbluth. Yeah. I am telling you what, Eric Rung's baby sleeping through the night now. Well, yeah. Wow, we use that book saving too. lives. Saving lives, because yeah. it's like, no one tells you these things. You're it's, in a baby shower, you get all these. What do you do? What do you do to the, the kid? Idea you let is, them cry. You're just, yeah. you let them cry, but you're putting them down to nap almost every two hours. It's like you keep, just because you're, keep they're awake. Keep them unconscious, freeze up a lot awake, of time in your day. You just keep putting them to bed, and they just get a, yeah. they want more sleep than you think. That's great. That worked but who also. knew? And it's very simple, and I'll tell you what, I'm like, if someone would give every new mom that yeah. at a baby shower, it's great. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Good. All right, next one on potty training, because people always guilt you with the potty training. Right. Is your baby potty trained yet? Yeah. Is this? Right. My friend Maggie's mother said this to me. All right. <laughs> it's the truth. You worry about comparing your kids to other kids. Right. Yeah. But she said, I've never seen a kid wearing a diaper to the prom. There you Eventually, go. they will it's gonna figure be okay. it out, whether right. it's, yeah. you know, at two, if it's a little 14. later, who cares? You spend yeah. so much time worrying about comparing yourself right. to other moms. Mm -hmm. Do they have this True. stroller? Do right. you have that stroller? Am I right? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. There's a point where you stop wanting to sit in your own urine. Yeah. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and exactly your level of awareness, right. you know, for some kids it might be for the And there are some kids who crap their pants at nine years old <laughs> and it's a small world. It's gonna and happen. you're fine. You're fine. I turned <laughs> out. Yeah, you're not doing it anymore. Just fine. Right? All right, next one Good is a point, gem Robert. from uh, my father that I've said over the years, but it's very true. I used to get all stressed out about homework, and he said, Robin, your grammar school grades don't count on your permanent record. Yep. Yeah. And you that go. is the truth. Yeah. If you're worried about your kid doing their homework, and the, yeah. they'll figure it out. You yeah. know, starting in high school, it really starts to yeah. matter. But in grammar school... Yeah, it's a free ride. You don't want to instill habits at a young age. You just... Well, don't stress over every A not be, B not right. being an A, yeah. and yeah. you can make yourself right. crazy with that mm. stuff. All right, it's next good. one. You're this one's the Lord's work here. Yeah, already. this one's from my sister. That's All my right. sister, Becky. Now, I remember in high school, you know, when the kids start high school, I was so nervous because it's like, you know, kids are always jockeying for social. It's it's a nightmare. Sure, and she yeah. said, Robin, high school is like social Thunderdome. Just make sure your kid is the one who leaves. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's brilliant. Your sister's like, Walt Whitman, that one. It, it, you know Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. It's uh, two yeah, men yeah. enter, one man leaves. Yeah. And it's so true. Just, I guess the whole point is you think every kid, like, well, this kid's being mean. They're all just trying to survive. So if yep. you're hanging on to some kid's ankles, they're trying to hang on to the ladder, too. They got to kick you off. They're yeah. trying to survive, right. too. Yeah. So don't blame other kids for just yeah. trying to survive. They're all just trying to survive. Yeah. Look at right? you. Yeah. You know, you started off this show negative, and yeah. you have really rebounded, Robin. Yeah. God bless you. Keep there you going. Go. All right, so this is the last one. I, last year, I dropped my oldest daughter, Anna, off at college for the first time. And I'm telling you now, parents that are dropping kids off at college pack half of what you think they need. Right. This year, they, she, we fit it all in half of a car. You don't need half of the stuff yeah. you pack. Mm. Yeah. And I didn't cry when I dropped her off, but you know when you will cry? When you see their siblings oh, cry. Because they come it. with you. Am I right, yeah, Paul? Yeah, that got me. Yeah. My younger daughter was like, she gets in the car. Yeah. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Should I give me, you know, uh, I'm like, because they spend so much time ignoring yeah, you that right. you're like, I didn't cry until I realized that my right. other daughter was yeah, upset yeah, that she exact. had to be alone with me now. <laughs> <laughs> the fun person. Now she knows how Larry's felt all these That's years. Right. Poor yeah. kid. So there you That's go. Good. That was yeah. really good, Ron. Do with that, that really what you will. Nice list. Yeah. That was a really good list.